Hey folks, thanks for tuning in. This is the same survival rocket heater that was built in part two. It's installed now and it's fully functional. This part three of the series shows how I fire up my rocket heater. I aim to start it using only one match. Okay, let's do it. Do you hear that sound? That's why it's called a rocket heater. So everyone asks, how hot does it get? Well, the temperature is a function of how much fuel and air you allow at any given time. How hot your heater burns is up to you. So why am I doing all of this? What's the point? Here it is. What do you do if the power grid goes down for more than a week? How do you cook? How do you boil water for drinking or medical needs? How do you keep warm? On a scale from 0 to 100, with 100 being absolute certainty, what number do you place on the power grid going down for more than a week during the next five years? I offer this survival rocket heater as a kit of parts that can be shipped anywhere in the United States. The cuts, welds, and fabrication needed to be done at your site will take about four to five hours by an experienced welder fabricator. Email me if you have a specific question or call to discuss your project. Thanks for tuning in to 8 Weeks in 2 Days Survival. Stay prepared.